that when the hour approaches, two knights will join each other and the people will... When that sign is seen, everybody will believe. Righteous believers and the pious believers who wake up for the hajjud. Of the ten major signs of the approach of the hour, five of those ten seen... Hello guys, you're welcome. Hope you guys are feeling good. Thank you so much for clicking. So the sun rising from the west. So let's watch guys. Are they waiting for anything except the hour to come to them suddenly? But its signs have already come. Is Allah talking to us brothers and sisters? Are you waiting for the hour to confront you? To hit you? To smack you in the face? People ask Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to tell them when will the hour strike? When will it take place? And we all know the account when Jibreel alayhi salam visited the Muslims at the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and he appeared as a human being dressed in very white clothes. And he came and he sat to the halaqa of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and started to ask him about Islam and Ihsan and Iman and then Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam will answer him and after every answer Jibreel will say Sadaqta ya Rasulallah Verily you have told the truth and then the companions were astonished How could someone who is asking a question will say you have told the truth How did he know that it was the truth? And then after that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam explained to them after the departure of Jibreel that it was Jibreel who came to teach them the elements of their deen. And among the questions that Jibreel asked was the question about the hour. When will it be? And then Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam answered by saying, That the one who is asked the question does not know any more than the one who asked the question. And indeed, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala told us in Al-Quran Al-Kareem, يَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ السَّاعَةِ أَيَّانَ مُرْسَاهَا فيما أنت من ذكراها إلى ربك منتهاها إنما أنت منذر من يخشاها كأنهم يوم يرونها لم يلبثوا إلا عشية أو ضحاها They ask you concerning the hour What do you know about the knowledge of the hour? Verily, you only are a warner about the approach of the hour. No one knows. There were 16 ayat in Al-Quran Al-Kareem that mentioned the hour and asserted that no one knows when the hour will strike. Unlike many of the people around us who predicted that the hour will strike on such and such day. And one stands very clear in my mind. One of the televangelists went on television in 1994 and he said that the day of judgment will strike on March 22nd, 1996. I still remember that. March 22nd, 1996 came and it's gone and, and the hour did not strike because the knowledge is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that there are minor signs and there are major signs. Now the minor signs, some of the scholars told us that all of them came to pass. We have witnessed all of the minor signs. Now the concern of this presentation is about some of the mm. 10 major signs of the approach of the hour. Five of those ten seem to be cosmic in nature. That they are related to certain happenings that are related to the cosmos. Certain universal happenings that will take place that will tell us that the hour is approaching. And one of them is that the sun will appear from the west instead of the east. We have known that for years and years and years and we were told that the sun will appear from the west as a sign that the hour is approaching now again i remind myself and i remind my sisters and brothers that whatever i will mention from science that people really put as, as, as the, the absolute truth when we know it is not. But what we know from science is the following. What is happening is that the earth has been rotating around its axis 
since the creation of the universe. In the beginning, our Earth used to complete one complete circle around its axis in four hours. It used to be very fast. And it has been slowing down since then. Now, it completes one rotation around its axis in 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds. And scientists know that the speed is going to diminish. The Earth is going to slow down up to a point where it will not be able to support any more decrease in its speed. When that will happen, the Earth will behave like a spring that you rotate in a certain direction up to a certain point when you cannot really wind it any further in that direction. Then if you leave it, what will happen? It will start to rotate in the opposite direction. And the Earth is going to do that. That's what scientists tell us, that the Earth is going to slow and slow and slow up to a point where it cannot, because of its mass, slow any further, then it will stop briefly and will start to rotate in a clockwise fashion. And guess what will happen when that takes place? The sun will appear from the west. And the hadith related through the authority of Hudayf ibn al-Yaman from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about this is very clear. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said that when the hour approaches, two nights will join each other and the people will wake up from the first night to see that the night is not over yet. And they will be terrified and they will be scared and they will find that the sun did not come out and another night came and then two nights will appear in a row and then after that the sun will appear again but this time it will come from the west instead of the east when that sign is seen everybody will believe subhanallah even after the jal and isa comes down there are still gonna be people who don't believe they will believe. When they see the sun coming from the west, they will say, we believe, we believe. But when do you believe? After you've seen reality? Where were you before? When the sun comes out of the west, who are you going to resort to? The righteous believers and the pious believers who wake up for tahajjud and pray the night for prayers, one of them will wake up at that night and pray to Allah. And he prays his usual prayers. He reads his juzo, his half a juzo, his two juzo, his three juzo. And then he gets to sleep. Usually, he reads his juzo, gets to sleep, wakes up for fajr. But this time, he read his juzo, he read what he usually reads, gets to sleep, wakes up, he realizes the night is still long. So he prays to Allah again, and yet fajr has not even entered. And then he sleeps again, wakes up, thinks that fajr is coming, about to enter. Prays again to Allah Azza wa Jal, sleeps again, wakes up, he's still not fajr. So he realizes something there. Draws near to mankind. Is there reckoning? Is a destruction, yet they turn away in heedlessness. Mm. The sun will rise from the west. So, in summary, he's just trying to let us understand the last days, the signs you will see on the last day, then judgment will follow. So, he's just trying to explain to us that if you see all these signs, know that we are drawing closer to the last day. And one of the biggest signs you will see as a Muslim. Is the fact that the sun will rise from the west you will see and you know this is the west so any direction you start and you see that there's a way it's going to be very bright than usual and if you see it from the west then you know something is about to happen so you're just trying to encourage people that see 
let us hold on to God. We are in the last moment. Let's always make sure that we put God first. We serve Allah. We do things diligently. We serve Him diligently. We do the things at the right time. It was so powerful, mind blowing. Like the way he was just explaining everything, saying that in hours, in minutes, in seconds, you know, how the whole thing move around the earth and you know, it's beyond my imagination. I was like, how ah, does he know that this is how the heart is? And how does he know that this is what is going to happen? And, you know, and I'm sure he said it based on what is written in the Quran. It was said in the Quran that when the last days are coming, you will see some signs, you see some things. And when you see all these signs, know that we are drawing closer to the last day, the end of time. So this was a powerful one. It's just trying to tell us that we should be more prayerful this time. We should hold on to God more this time. Because nobody knows when it will be time. But this period, we are, we are in the period of last days. So anything can happen at any time. Hold on to Allah more. We should you know, pray more often. We should depend on Him. We should do good deeds and the rest. That was a powerful one. I really enjoyed it. Wow. Very, very mind blowing. I really enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts regarding this video. Let's keep this discussion going in the comment box. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.